I know you guys have heard this, event versus response equals outcome. Guess what? It doesn't work. This is Tad Fulford with Rise Up in Real Estate. And today I wanna to tell you why E plus R does not always equal O. So you guys have always heard when you're faced with some sort of event, right? Something in your life, some challenge that you run across. Like for us in the real estate world, maybe it's the NAR settlement. A lot of people just say when the event happens, you add it to your response and that will equal the outcome. Well, that's not always the case and I want to tell you why. In my opinion, you have to have the right mindset before the event happens in order for that theory and that equation, if you want to call it that, actually will work. So you have to have your head on straight. You have to be pouring positive things into your mind on a daily basis. You have to be almost ready beforehand and saying to yourself, when the event happens, I'm going to have the positive response. I'm going to have a calculated response so that the outcome will be as good as can be. If you're just going through your life without any preparation, without any compound effect of your activities daily, then you won't be ready for the event. And when the event comes, it might hit you at a good time. It might hit you at a bad time. It might hit you at a time that you need it. It might hit you at a time that you don't need it. And when that event happens, if your mind's not right, the outcome is not going to be right either. Because you know why your response is going to be dictated on your attitude on your mindset when the event happens so there should be like parentheses around the e plus r there should be parentheses around the event and the response saying that maybe an m on the outside of the parentheses for those of you that are math majors like me and it should say that your mindset takes precedent outside the parentheses your mindset is going to set what is going to happen when the event actually takes place then when the event takes place you can properly compartmentalize not be emotional for long. You can be emotional for a minute, not be emotional for long and set your mind right so that your response can be appropriate to the event and then you will have the proper outcome. The other thing you need to be aware of that will make this formula not work at all is when the outcome comes, like if say you have the right response to the event and you properly have your mindset so that you do the right thing. If after that, your outcome can be affected by the noise around you, you have to again, control your mindset on the other side of the equation. You have to to let your outcome be your outcome. You have to be okay with it. You have to be confident in it. You have to filter out all the noise because guess what? Not everybody's going to agree with your mindset. Not everybody's going to agree with your outcome. They're going to try to sway you. A good example with the NAR settlement is the media. You might've had your head on straight. You might've had this settlement come down, proposed settlement come down. And you might've said to yourself, you know what? This is how I'm going to act. Then your response was appropriate and the outcome is fine. But then you sit down and you watch CNN or you read the Wall Street Journal or you listen to the negative Nancy's or, or meals in your market saying that this could be the end of commissions or prices are going to fall like chicken little effect. If you listen to too much of that, your outcome can be affected. So guess what? E event plus response, your response can equal the outcome. But today I want you to remember mindset is the key. You have to have mindset, proper mindset on both sides of the equation. You have to be positive on this side and you have to be tough on that side. This is Tad Fulford with Rise Up in Real Estate. And today I hope this video helps you rise up.